Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ryan, and today we're going to talk about Frankenhooker. This is a 1990 gem that is a completely different reimagining of the Frankenstein story, as the title would suggest. Um, you would never think of, of combining those two things till you see this movie. It starts out with Jeffrey and Elizabeth. They are having a picnic for Elizabeth's father. It's his birthday. And Jeffrey gives us a little glimpse of what he's into. It's some kind of electro medical science that he's trying to create new life or spark life back into things. And they decide to gift her father with this remote control lawnmower, which like that's actually a thing now. So that's kind of funny. But she's showing dad, you know, how you turn it on and you can control the speed this way and you can do this. And he's like, oh, don't stand in front of it. Don't stand in front of it. And of course, she's standing right in front of it. It turns on and does end her life in a terrible way. Then the movie opens. Um, they are, they're playing this news clip of kind of like a, they're trying to get a statement from Jeffrey and then they kind of let you know, like, maybe not all the pieces have been found and they're kind of concerned about that. Uh, Jeffrey has them. Long story short, he's trying to figure out a way to bring back his wonderful fiance and he's just racking his brain and having cluster headaches to which he treats those with a drill. I've never seen treatment like that before. Um, probably not like the most effective treatment. I think there's better things we could do. But uh, he decides he needs parts. He needs female body parts. Where can you find those? He lives in Jersey. So right over the bridge, he's going to go into the city and um, meet some ladies and possibly free them of some limbs when he finds the perfect limbs. He has all these really detailed drawings and plans set up. He has everything you know, down to the T with what kind of voltage he needs. He works at the electrical plant, so he's pretty well versed in, in voltage. Maybe not so much um, medicine because he's been uh, kicked out of several medical schools, we find out, which is not great. So uh, <laughs> he he's trying to make a Frankenhooker, essentially. I, I don't want to spoil too much. I don't know how much there really is to spoil but this is such an incredible movie, in my opinion. It's a comfort movie of mine. I could literally watch this every single day. I just, I love this movie so much. James Lawrence, I think that's how you say his last name. I love him. He was in Street Trash. He had a very minor role in Street Trash. And I love him. He's great. Just the way he delivers lines and his accent, I don't know if that's his true accent or whatever, but like his mannerisms and everything, he's so effortlessly funny. And Patty Mullen in this, who plays Elizabeth, is fantastic. She's amazing. She is perfect for this part. I just, I love this movie so much. It is like definitely not sensitive or politically correct in the slightest, but I just, I, I love this movie. I'll leave it off there as it is spoiler free. What did I like about this movie? Other than everything, probably, um, the effects are, are pretty good. It definitely has that like early nineties. Like it, it feels more like a late eighties vibe. Definitely. I love the acting. I love how just outlandish and weird everything is. There's a, a scene with Elizabeth, after she's, you know, she's the Frankenhooker, essentially. Like, that's not spoiling anything if you've ever seen any trailer in your entire life for this movie. And she is with a, um, a gentleman friend, and he's very excited about everything, and just, like, he's so naive and so accepting and just, like, happy up until the end, and it's hilarious. It's so funny. Um, and there's, a. Uh, just like all the stupid jokes are great. The ending is amazing. It's so funny. Like this movie is hilarious. And I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to be more of a horror or more of a comedy, but it just does it well together. I just, I just love this movie so much. Um, I think this was on Shudder, 
which obviously you pay for because you have to get it through Amazon Prime, which you also have to pay for. So I found it streaming there. I really need to get my hands on a physical copy of this because like, why don't I have that? But this really makes me want to watch Street Trash again, which is also another movie I love, which is also like not sensitive or correct, but I love that movie. It's so gross. It's so incredibly gross. Um, yeah, like, I think this is a Team Trauma release as well, which like puts the cherry on the, the Sunday for me. I just really love Trauma. I love everything about this movie. I don't think that there's a lot of downtime in it that's boring and there's not a lot of filler. You just have a really good time and a really good ride the whole time. So yeah, that's, it's going to be a pretty short review because there's not really anything I can think of off the top of my head that I would really change about it. Uh, it could never make this movie now, that's for sure. And I, I, I do agree with that. But have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on this movie? Please let me know down below. I'm not going to rate it because I've already raved about how much I love it. It's so gross. Uh, we got to meet Patty Mullen at one of the horror conventions. Like we... We got to like kind of leer at her a little bit. We didn't go up to her or get anything signed, but she had her cat with her and she had her purple wig. She's just like so cool. She's so nice. We talked to her a little in the hallway, but uh, yeah, go watch this movie. Let me know your thoughts. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. Leave me a comment. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook at Ray Animator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram, and now TikTok at Ray Animator. And I hope y'all are well, having a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.